What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gem Mint Collectibles. I'm Gem Mint and today we're going to unbox and review Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from PCS's one third scale line. This is the first of this line. We're definitely getting the four brothers and at least Shredder and I can't believe how quick they turned around this piece from the initial concept to the prototype and now here we are with the production pieces. I did get the deluxe version or the exclusive version so cannot wait to dive into this. Before we do though if you're watching this on the day that i'm releasing the video that means it's wednesday i am going live on whatnot today at 5 p.m eastern so many video game homages from whatnot's indie week i missed indie week because i was on vacation so i'm going to be getting rid of mine today make sure to join and we're doing a statue giveaway on whatnot at the end of the month you can bookmark that now as well it's 100 free and actually if you haven't signed up for whatnot yet use my link in the description and in the pinned comment and it'll get you a 10 dollar credit that you can use not only on my stream but on anyone's stream on whatnot with that out the way let's jump into the unboxing all right here we go one box one layer let's take off the straps take off the top layer and actually let's flip this thing the other way around all right here we go so like i said everything in one layer let's take off the plastic we can see the body the base and all those other little pieces so let's start by looking at the mousers a modernized take on the mousers and the cartoon they were white this has this very dull metallic look it's got a lot of battle damage and a hole where actually this one will go into Raphael's side but love all the weathering that they have on this and that dull shine looks great here's another head and a leg for the mousers so there's a couple on the base that are scattered around looks great man I like this take on it and the red eye for the mouser looks great too here's two more legs and then that's about it but you get the idea dull metallic shine to it it's got what looks like rust on the foot as well and then we have the two Raphael size so not metal for the size but you can see the great texturing on the green hands going to the palms where you have that yellowing the fingernails look super realistic they have a gloss on them we can see the handle of the sigh in his hand here's another look at the other one and just get a good idea of the detail that they packed into the hand here all right, and let's go to the first portrait. So there are two bandanas. They each magnetize into their respective portrait. This one is the one that I'm gonna be using. I love the whited out eyes, the gritted teeth, the texturing. Look at the vein work on the neck here. This looks amazing. I think they absolutely killed it on this portrait. Here goes the top of his dome. Bandana floating in the wind big key on there as well and then you have the exclusive so same deal bandana will magnetize into the back of his head his bandana goes over the top of his head and you can see his pupils and his eyes and I think they did a great job on it personally just not something that I would use I really just picked up the exclusive for the lower edition size but you have that alternate portrait the body has so much detail packed into it right away looking at the knee pads and the texturing the wraps around his right foot here and then he's got all these pouches and straps around his belt, around his thigh. The glossiness to the skin gives him that real turtle look. Another wrap on the other leg. And then you have that shell. He's got battle damage on the shell as well. You have kind of that fingerprint aesthetic. And then we have the base. So let's go ahead and take that out of the box and get a better look at it on the table. Love the translucent resin. They've done that with the last Ronin piece. We're seeing the same here for that watery sewer base. There's a destroyed mouser on the base there. You have the grate at the front of this pipe here. The weathering looks great. The texturing, the rocks on the back. And then let's go ahead and assemble this mouser. Now the head kind of was a little bit tough to get in, but it got in just fine. We'll put his leg on there. Then we're gonna just go ahead and key in Raph. He just has the peg with that key on his left foot. His back foot rests on the manhole cover. We'll put in the side hands here. And then let's go ahead and put the collector's edition portrait. All right, there we go. And then let's take a look at what it looks like with the exclusive portrait still cool I like how you have that different option there and speaking of options you can have his left hand just with the sigh out or you can slide that mouser in and he's holding the mouser in his hand that Spider-Man booth is currently in open enrollment for their March subscription box. Not only do you get over $100 in retail value, but also variants that are exclusive to this box. 
In March, there's an 8 Billion Genies Issue 8 exclusive cover by Alex Cormack, Virgins limited to 500 copies, as well as a Ninja Funk 3 exclusive by Ivan Tao. 300 regular editions were printed, 100 foil, and 25 metal. Head on over to that SpidermanBooth.com and sign up for their subscription box today. And there we have it, the one-third scale Raphael by PCS with the exclusive setup here. We have the exclusive portrait, and we have the mouser on the side. Now, like I mentioned, you can choose to display this with the mouser on the side or with it like as a proximity piece on the base. And honestly, I don't know how confident I am in this mouser standing on that side right there or being held up by it. I don't know, I just feel like it's not strong enough. I wish that was a metal side and then I would have a little bit more confidence in it. But like I said, you can use this as a proximity piece. You could throw it on the back or something if you don't feel confident in that side. And then, like I said, this portrait looks great, not the one that I would really display. So let's go ahead and switch that out and then we'll take a final look at Raphael. So, boom, here we go. Now, I mentioned it's one third scale, but like I've said, since I started covering this line with their first announcement and then the original pre-orders, they're one third scale, but they're kind of compact. They're not overly tall. It looks like the bandana is the tallest point on this piece, which is gonna make it just over 21 inches tall so kind of like a quarter scale height for some pieces as far as the width and the depth let's say the depth is about 16 inches and then the width depending on you know where you position it about 13 inches now the retail price for this piece is $1,205 for the exclusive, which they actually call the Deluxe Edition. The Collector's Edition is the same price. The only difference is that edition size. So only 350 made for the Deluxe Edition and 500 made for that Collector's Edition. I've loved this ever since the first idea came out, man. Looking at the base, so much going on here. The translucent resin for the sewage. You've got the mouser built into the base, the other mouser here on his foot, and then of course that third one where you put it in his thigh. You've got the manhole cover that says New York City on it. And of course you've got this big sewage drain that Raphael is standing on top of. He looks amazing. So much detail from the texturing in the material that he's wearing, the wraps around his ankles, the knee pads, the elbow pads, the texture on his skin. It's got the cracks and the lines, very amphibian-like, especially with the glossiness of the paint that they used here. You've got pouches on the utility belt, like I mentioned. Those continue around his back. And then you have his shell with so much detail packed into it from the, like I said, fingerprint texturing to the battle damage and going up to the portrait. I think they did an amazing job on this. Donatello is out next. I cannot wait to get that one. And I believe Shredder might be after that. Now the Shredder, I know for a fact, is designed by the Chuchurik brothers. Sideshow's new site, man, I'm having trouble trying to see who was responsible for this piece. I think Sideshow only credits the artists when it's their pieces that they produce, but I'm pretty sure the Chew Trick Brothers either sculpted this or at least had some input with the design. Extremely happy to start this line off with a bang with Raphael. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll leave you with him spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.